What is good, Cardano fam, Ada gang. We have lots of exciting bullish updates to unpack today. So hit that subscribe, hit that like. Ivan on tech, massive name in crypto news, says big news for Cardano Ada. Axler is doing a lot for Cardano. I've never seen anyone do this much for Cardano. This is insane. If Axler can supercharge Cardano with nice cross-chain interoperability, that would be absolutely insane. He's a big fan of this news. Now, of course, this news is a few days old, but he responded to the news on Friday on YouTube. So big shout out to Ivan on Tech for giving some flowers to Cardano. And I agree, it looks like he's working with Axler and he sees the potential there to supercharge ADA. And taking a look at our recent tweet, guys, just as a refresher, lest we forget that Cardano's founding entity, Emergo, is to integrate Axler Network. And they say, Axler, that it's coming soon. With over $9 billion volume and over 2 million transactions, seamless cross-chain connecting new users and liquidity from 70 plus blockchains and looking at axler scan right now what a fantastic website everything's always linked for you guys below they're getting close to 3 million transactions they're closing in on 10 billion dollars volume and what a fantastic way to visually see all the different chains and how axler has become like a hub and spoke so fantastic great to see the bullishness continues Sam Price, aka Crypto Lifer, says Cardano and Bitcoin are integrating. ADA's tapping into the Bitcoin network. Interesting. I'm excited to see that. So there's a lot of positive sentiment. Speaking of positive sentiment, DZ says Cardano will skyrocket soon. A great compilation he put together of all the Bitcoin OS news. And we're going to read more into Bitcoin OS, a great thread directly from Bitcoin OS. So what a great post. And I do think it's imminent. I think altcoin season is coming, guys. Speaking of a quote retweet by Cardano Yoda uh, by a kind of an ordinals project, minting runes, exploring ordinals, Ord.io, saying Bitcoiners start to understand that Cardano is inevitable. Now the post, let's just kind of make a correction. It says breaking the founder of Cardano, Charles Hoskinson, just reversed his stance he never reversed his stance. He's always supported Bitcoin. I would say that finally with Babel fees, with Bitcoin OS, we're kind of seeing that be realized, kind of that synergy. So it's not like Charles hated Bitcoin and now he loves Bitcoin. He played a prominent role in Bitcoin education and whatnot. You can read that straight from the IOG website. And it's exciting that Charles also wants to do a refresh with Bitcoin education. So guys, I think... Bitcoin is really going to galvanize the narrative for Cardano and really let Bitcoiners take advantage of advanced decentralized finance. So good stuff. So speaking of, let's read some stuff with Bitcoin OS. Cardano's time to shine. Thanks to Bitcoin OS, Cardano has returned to Bitcoin. Here's why these blockchains work better together and why this could be the most bullish moment in the history of ADA. Ignore the tribalism. Bitcoin and Cardano have a lot in common. Both use a UTXO model, which enhances compatibility between both blockchains. Their communities prioritize long-term thinking and believe in using layered architecture when upgrading their networks. Bitcoin and Cardano are complementary. Bitcoin is a $1.3 trillion network with tens of millions of users, but major technical limitations. Cardano is a smart contract platform for DeFi and privacy, but with a limited asset base. And that also is part of what uh, Ivan on Tech was mentioning. You know, I like it when people have civil dissent, not the ad hominem, not the nonsense we hear from some quote unquote uh, self proclaimed Bitcoin maxis. They end off saying they need each other. Hashtag UTX bros. By plugging into Bitcoin, Cardano gets a seismic liquidity boost and Bitcoin unlocks the functionality it has always searched for, right? It's definitely a win-win. We know there's demand for this. Over $9 billion in Bitcoin circulate on Ethereum as wrapped BTC today from Bitcoin holders looking to do more than HODL. And with that, right, you have intermediaries. That's why Bitcoin OS is going to change the game. So a superior solution to wrap Bitcoin and wrap Bitcoin is a perfect case study that there is demand. I agree 100%. There's no denying that. But Cardano does even better than that. Thanks to Bitcoin OS. Bitcoin OS Grail Bridge will give Bitcoiners the first trustless solution 
for moving Bitcoin into Cardano and other smart contract environments. Finally, the first real Bitcoin DeFi. Bitcoin OS isn't just a bridge. It's a new computing paradigm. It turns existing blockchains into extensions of the main Bitcoin blockchain, uniting the best of Bitcoin and crypto worlds under one roof. Really well written. Bitcoin OS will introduce the capital to grow activity on Cardano to new heights. Demand for Cardano ADA will rise, placing it at the heart of this crypto cycle's narrative, the Bitcoin renaissance. After 10 years of building, it is finally Cardano's time to shine. What a fantastic time. So guys, I really think that this safe and secure, resilient network that has not gone down, that is adaptable, the narrative, the brand, right? No hacks. Uptime. It's a perfect medley with Bitcoin. Fantastic. And I think a lot of Bitcoiners are going to take advantage of this. And guess what? It's decentralization. So whether you like it or not, it's going to happen. That's the beauty of DeFi. Moving forward, guys, and let me know what do you think of Ivan on Tech. I'm really excited to see what Ivan says about the Bitcoin OS stuff. And I was asking George from Cryptos R Us, maybe more people will start kind of changing their view on Cardano with the recent announcements. Dedium, right? I call them the Render Junior. Uh, decentralized GPU compute power on the Cardano network. At Dedium, we partner only for real opportunities. No flashy social media collabs, just meaningful business moves. We already hold the largest Cardano project contract with a Web2 powerhouse. Leonardo AI, now Canva. I think they did an acquisition. Think you can prove it wrong? 1000 ADA says you can't. So 1000 ADA if you, if you think you can prove them otherwise. And this is a screenshot from Leonardo AI. I've used their service. It's pretty decent actually for generative AI. And we can see Dedium there along with a few of the other partners, notably Amazon's AWS. Now they're gonna announce another partner sometime soon. So I'm really excited to see that. I'll be covering it over on Twitter when they make that announcement. Moving forward, the guys who have been building like Rune, Dex stuff for Bitcoin and Cardano, really powerhouses for both networks. Well, Fluid is live on Dex Screener. And guys, I highly suggest take a look at Dex Screener, open up the Cardano tab, look at MinSwap tab, and also make sure projects that maybe you're involved in with the community, that they verify everything, make sure everything's looking good. So fantastic. And this leads to me to the next statement I didn't expect. And I'm hoping they can elaborate a little bit more. They say, as a Bitcoiner on Cardano, you will be able to pay fees in BTC. It's called Aquarium and it allows Babel fees on Cardano. Audit in progress, release Q4 of 2024. Yes, I think we may be getting a lot of the Babel fee stuff sooner than we think. And Babel fees allow right payment in any fee. And ADA is always consumed under the hood. And in the words of IOG CTO, it's a natural market, right? When you go to the store, when you go to Walmart, you pay in whatever you want. It's a natural market. And that underlying infrastructure has that demand going. So under the hood, it's being consumed, ADA. So I'm really looking forward to uh, more clarity on these projects. You know, what does that journey look like for the Bitcoin user? Why they would do it? Why wouldn't they do it? Really excited to see these stuff go uh, and take off. A great recap by Amergo, founding entity for Cardano. This week was packed with major events and updates from the Amergo ecosystem, notably Cardano Summit, concludes in Dubai. We saw great announcements there with Binance sponsoring the summit, uh, the CEO speaking there, highlighting the importance of compliance. We also saw Cardano Foundation CEO saying that a lot of those native tokens could be listing and winning on the exchanges, kind of low-key alluding that we could be seeing a bunch of CNTs list on Binance and elsewhere. Yoroi Wallets is live 5.0 with dark mode and a variety of other features. The Axler integration we spoke about for cross-chain connectivity. Bitcoin OS, that's been dominating Twitter and uh, making the Bitcoin Maxis lose their mind. Yeah, Cardano Ada continues to live rent-free in their head. So tip their, your hat off to them for the free uh, mentions. And finally, Yoroi Wallet also partnering with, um, with Bring to allow that cash back at retail stores. So good stuff. What a fabulous uh, recap by Emergo. Emergo's delivering the fire. Now, before we look at price, guys, I want to give a big shout out 
to uh, the found the co-founder of Animoca. He's been sharing some of the Anger Crypto tweets, and Animoca has been sharing the tweets. So big shout out to them, a big thank you to them. And I put this tweet out recently, where he says we spend on average seven to ten hours a day online, but there's a drive for us to have human connection. Digital reputation and digital identities will make things more efficient. In a conference like this, we can attest to our reputation without knowing who you are. So in summary, he's saying it's not going to be like digital screen time takes over the world. We'll always desire human connection. The digital reputation stuff will help make us more efficient. And even when you go to a conference, right, there's a lot of that rapport and um, reputation that's already been built online. So what an intelligent founder. If you guys are ever trying to look for some more great research and insight, great articles also written by him. Fantastic. So guys, where are we headed for price? The bullishness, guys, is around the corner. I think we're going to be waiting sideways still November, December. I don't think that Q4 is necessarily going to be a very bullish month. Uh, you guys know that for months I've been saying this that post having is just going to be jitter and volatile. And lo and behold, it pretty much has been because with the inception of Bitcoin ETFs, it kind of priced in the having and before the having. So I think that this is the final moments before we take off with Cardano and the rest of the alts. Bitcoin dominance last I checked tonight was around 59.6, 59.5%. So we need Bitcoin dominance to tumble down in order to green light altcoin season. But now with more capital, you know, I think that Bitcoin dominance will probably tumble to like a low, low of like 44% or something like that. Uh, Bitcoin dominance, each time it tumbles down, the lows are a little bit higher uh, because of all the more global liquidity that's coming in. So I think Cardano and many others will pump and go crazy. I'm thinking that a price point like five to $7 is possible. I'm going to continue to do a little bit more research and find some different areas of, of research that can pinpoint what we can kind of expect objectively, realistically. But right now, I'm going to just in that watching moment. So if it goes lower, and it might, there might be some more lower side potential. Even DZ was talking about it in his evaluation. We might go down to 29, 20, 28 cents. So don't be surprised if we do. Uh, but I do think that all coin season is around the corner, minimum Q1, Q2 of 2025. And I do think we're going to see a lot more bullishness surrounding Bitcoin OS, Babel fees, Axler network, new announcements around the corner by Emergo, and also the highly anticipated DEX tools and more integrations and more awareness. So let me know what are you guys most excited for? Are you guys surprised that Ivan on tech, he's dropping some, like that's a pretty bullish tweet by Ivan on tech saying that, if Axler Network can supercharge Cardano, then be absolutely insane. Because one of his sponsors is Axler Network. He likes Axler Network. I think Axler Network is doing a fantastic job. Almost $10 billion in volume. So the more that we can connect into Cardano ADA via cross-chain, via Bitcoin OS, the better we'll be. So I think, guys, we are ready to really galvanize that narrative of safe and secure and with these partnerships and more to be announced, super exciting time to be a Cardano ADA holder. What is ex most exciting for you guys right now on the network? Axler Network, Bitcoin OS. What do you think about the Bitcoin OS stuff? Let me know in the comments below. Hit that subscribe, hit that like. I'll see you in the next Angry Crypto Show.